Hey what's going on guys, it's Frolix here bringing you another video on the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be telling you the 5 best businesses in GTA 5 that you guys need to have to make a bunch of money. If you guys are new to the game and you are just starting out and you need to make some money or you already have a bit of money saved up, this video is perfect for you or if you guys are already in the game long term and you've been playing all the time and you want some good new ideas on how to make money, well these businesses I'm going to tell you guys right now how they will help you and how much money you guys can make from them and some of them might surprise you if you guys didn't know too much about the businesses in game some of them can actually make you a ton of money so i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get it started also i wanted to let you know that none of these are actually in order we're just going to be talking about them and at the end of the video i'm going to let you know which one is the best for you guys to make the most money Anyways, the first one we're going to be talking about is VIP now. VIP is the oldest one in this game. It is the first one that you guys can use to actually make money in free mode. So it does not pay out a crazy amount. You can make around 150k per hour, but everyone already has this as long as you have 1 million dollars in your bank account. So pretty much most of the people in this game can actually do that. If you can't, then of course there's other ways to grind to get money like doing heists, doing missions and stuff like that. So you guys can unlock VIP. But pretty much how you would make 150k per hour is just by doing the jobs. Each of these jobs can pay up to $30,000 which is a really good amount and as long as you have a crew to do it with you it becomes much much easier and a lot more fun. So it's definitely a really good option for you guys to do and make a little bit of money. Now if you don't make a ton of money but some of the other options on this list will make you a killing in no time especially if you're okay with grinding in the game and having fun while doing it. So number two is going to be CEO. Now CEO has two different things you guys can do. You can do vehicle sourcing and you can also do crate sourcing. So we're going to be talking about crate sourcing first. So you guys can actually make around two million dollars off of a full warehouse of crates. If you guys did want to buy a warehouse, you just have to simply go into your CEO office, sit down at the computer and then go to the special crate section. You guys can buy a warehouse for I believe cheapest around a million dollars, maybe a little bit more. But if you guys buy the most expensive one, you can actually have a total of 111 crates. And if you fill the entire thing up, you guys can actually sell your whole crate profit for around $2 million. So there's another thing called rare items. Now these rare items you will come across randomly and they will not be filled up in your warehouse. The max I think you can probably get if you fill up your whole warehouse is probably like four, maybe five at most. And that's if you find a bunch of them, if you're lucky. Now, these rare items do sell for around 100K each. So if you can get five of them, that is crazy good. And you guys get an extra like 500K from selling them. Now, of course, they are worth more than regular crates because they are rare items. But you guys can make a ton of money off of this. The only downside is it does take a long time to actually get all of the crates, fill up an entire warehouse and sell them all. And it is going to be hard if you're doing it by yourself. So of course, having a crew together, doing it with some of your friends, it actually becomes a lot more fun if you are doing it with your friends. And the time kind of just flies by, especially if you are having fun. So doing the crate sourcing is obviously a great way to make some money in the game. The next one on this list is vehicle sourcing. Now vehicle sourcing can make you a ton of money and is my actual personal favorite because I find it the most fun to do. The best part about it is you can make a ton of money from doing it. So to actually go and start doing vehicle sourcing, you need to go into your CEO office and click vehicle sourcing and you need to buy a vehicle warehouse. Now when you guys do this, you can actually make a ton of money from it. Now there's different ranges of vehicles. There is low end, medium, and then high end. Now high end vehicles are the ones of course you want to look for because they sell for the most amount of money. Each of them will most likely sell for around $100,000, which is pretty good, especially if you have four friends doing it with you you guys can actually make around $400,000 every time you source the vehicles. The only downside is your friends won't make any money from you sourcing the vehicles and you can't share the cash that you got from that with your friends. But of course, since you are going to be a CEO during this, they do make small profits of $5,000, I believe, every day in the game, which of course is not that much, but they get some free money. And you know what? If you have it, everybody just wants to have fun. So why not? Now another thing is that it only takes around 30 minutes to get 4 vehicles and then source them all. So you can actually make a max of around $400,000 in 30 minutes and if you guys get a collection you guys get a $50,000 bonus as well. Now if you guys don't know what a collection is, this is where you guys go and you source cars and then you go look on the laptop inside the vehicle warehouse and it says you found a car for a collection and if you fill up the whole collection you guys actually end up making a lot more money. So. 
if you guys do have a collection, obviously you're gonna to wanna to save the vehicles until you have that full collection. Another thing is, if you guys want to only source high-end vehicles, this is something you could do and that I have also done personally before. And what you need to do is the second you source a vehicle, what you're gonna to wanna to do is check to see if it's a high-end, low-end, or medium-end vehicle. If it is not high-end, what you guys can actually do is just find a new lobby or close the application and restart it up right away. And then when you load in, you could source a brand new vehicle and hope that it's gonna be high-end. Now, the reason that that is so much better than just sourcing low-end and medium and hope that you get a high-end vehicle at some point is because you can fill your whole warehouse up with complete high-end vehicles. Of course, it will take a lot more time to do, but think about this, every 30 minutes, you could be making around 400K. Of course, there is a bit of a wait time when you guys are actually done sourcing, but in that time, you could just go source four more vehicles, and when you're done, you could source and sell them all once again. So in reality, you can make a ton of money around 400K every half hour, but then again, that is if you get all high-end vehicles. Now, I'm not saying don't source the low-end and the medium-end vehicles, because they do also make you a very decent profit. And when you're doing this, you always want to sell to the highest bidder. You don't want to sell to the one that is closest because it is always cheapest. If you could sell to the far farthest one away, it will give you the most amount of money in the end. So that's always what you guys are going to want to do. And also be careful not to damage the cars, because if you do damage them before you bring them to your warehouse, you have to pay for that. And if you damage them on the way when you're exporting them, you will actually lose that bit of money from the total profit that you get. So vehicle sourcing is obviously another great thing that you guys can do and you can actually make a ton of money. Once you guys do start vehicle sourcing and you just grind it constantly, you guys can actually do this for around four to five hours and you can make your full profit back. What I mean is this, the cost of the warehouse and also the cost of the CEO office at the bare minimum, you guys can make a profit back in about five hours if you're grinding the whole time and sourcing vehicles constantly. So obviously it's a great option that you guys can do, but let's hop into the next one, which is gonna be bikers. Now bikers is obviously another great way to make some money in the game, but you're probably wondering which one of the factories you guys should buy. There's a ton of different ones, and in my opinion, the best one to actually own is the cocaine one. Now, the only way that this is actually good in profit is if you have the biker clubhouse and everything in the factory fully maxed out. So you guys can actually make around 75K per hour, like I said, if it is completely maxed out. But the downside is it costs over $3 million to buy everything. And it also does take more than around 50 hours to start making profit. And that is in game time as well. So it actually does take a really, really long time for you guys to actually make a profit. So it's probably not the best option to make a ton of money, but it is still in the top five because you guys can make some money from it. So I wouldn't suggest going for the bikers, even though it is fairly cheap to do because clubhouses aren't really that expensive, but it is not the best option for you guys to make money, but it is very, very fun to actually do and play. So the last one on this list is going to be from the gun running DLC. Now it is going to require you guys to have a bunker, but the best part about this is you guys can be a CEO, a biker, or a VIP when you're doing this, and you can make around $1 million when your supply is completely full and if you export it to the best location. Obviously you want to get the most amount of money, so why do it for the 700k one when you can opt for the $1 million option? It is very, very good for long term as well. The only downside is that it takes around 10 hours for the stock to get maxed out, and of course that is in-game time. But you guys can actually do something else as well. Now, what I would suggest doing is having a bunker and then also doing the CEO vehicle sourcing. Now, when you're waiting for your supplies to be completely maxed out in your bunker, why not do the vehicle sourcing so you guys can make more money while waiting for this? Then when you guys end up selling, you guys can sell your stock from your bunker for a million bucks. And the time that you were doing that, you can also be sourcing vehicles to make you even more money. Now, another thing is, if there are other CEOs in your lobby, you guys can actually make around an extra 100K when you guys are doing this from your bunker. Now, the reason is because other CEOs, of course, are gonna have their organizations and they can actually end up killing you and ruining your entire thing. So if you guys are successful, you will get a bonus $100,000. So like I said though, if you guys were to do the vehicle sourcing while you were waiting for your bunker's supply to get fully maxed out, you guys could actually make around seven to eight million dollars while just waiting, because if you make around a max of $400,000 per half hour, you add it up and it's around seven to eight million dollars. Now that's of course, if you guys are selling high-end vehicles, it will be a little bit less if you are doing the mid-range or the low range. But then again, if you guys only wanted to source high-end vehicles, it would actually take a little bit longer because 
you're gonna have to find high-end vehicles only and that would make you have to go around and keep closing the application finding new lobbies until you source high-end vehicles so of course if you guys are just trying to do this and make money quick just source the vehicle get it into your warehouse source another one right after that and then you guys can continuously make money so in the end which is the best one for you guys to actually make money my personal opinion is doing the CEO vehicle sourcing along with the bunker gun running. Now, like I said though, just before this, you guys can make a ton of money from this. You guys do the bunker and let that time run out until your stock is full, make a million bucks. And while you're waiting, you guys can do the vehicle sourcing and make up to $400,000 every half hour. So in reality, you guys, let's say, play for around 10 hours in one day. And you guys grind it out, you guys do vehicle sourcing, and you also have your bunker supplies getting full. After that full 10 hours, you guys could possibly walk away with a max total of around $9 million. Now that is the complete max that you guys can make. And if you guys do sell only the low end vehicles, which obviously is the most unlikely possibility that you guys will get because who will actually get like 30 low end vehicles. But if you were to only get 32 low end vehicles, and let's say you did this for the past 10 hours waiting for your bunker storage to completely fill up, you guys could only make around 1.5 million, but that is the worst case scenario. I guarantee none of you guys will get that because most of the time it's gonna be a low end, then a high end, then a medium end, then another medium, low, medium, then another high. Because of course the high end vehicles are the rarer ones because they do sell for a lot more money. But in the end though, obviously the best businesses to own are clearly the CEO vehicle sourcing and crate cargo and also the bunker with gun running. I definitely suggest you guys buy these to make the most amount of money. While I'm recording this video, I'm actually doing some vehicle sourcing right now and I just got one vehicle. It took me like 10 minutes to do and I got 100 grand because it was a top end reaper that I got and then I could source it and make $100,000. And if you have a crew, you can obviously make a lot more money. So I definitely suggest you guys take advantage of this. And don't forget, during double money and RP events, sometimes they actually come into effect for businesses, so you can make even more money by doing this. So in the long run, the best thing that you guys can get is of course the bunker and the CEO. And of course, you guys want to do all of the CEO work while your bunker stock is filling up. Once your bunker stock is filled up, sell it, resupply on all that stuff, wait for it again, and then just keep doing vehicle sourcing. Obviously you can do crate cargo as well, but vehicle sourcing will make you much more money and is probably the best thing that you guys can do in the long run to make the most amount of money. Like I said, in 10 hours, you guys can make most likely max of around $9 million and minimum about 2.5 million because 1.5 million from only low end vehicles and then doing the bunker stuff is another million bucks there. So I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe if you are new to the channel. We are so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers and it's going to be crazy. If you guys did make it to the end, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to enter my 10 days of giveaways, which I'll be doing in around January, then be sure to like the video and comment down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.